There are many reasons to clean up your mailbox, whether you'd like to reduce mailbox size for quarter reasons or to just help Outlook run more smoothly. Here's a quick guide to help you optimize your Outlook 2007 mailbox. First, we recommend removing all emails that are taking up a large amount of space. Emails that contain pictures, attachments, or large amounts of text can significantly increase the size of your inbox. To find these emails, first make sure you have Outlook open and Mail is selected from the navigation in the bottom left. Next, expand the search folders item and select Large Mail. All of your emails that are 100 kilobytes or more will be displayed. If you need to keep an attachment but don't need the email itself, you should store the attachment on your computer and remove the email. Outlook is meant to file and store email messages, not attachments. It's a good practice to always move attachments out of Outlook. An easy way to do this is to simply drag the attachment out of Outlook into a folder on your desktop or your My Documents. Here I am creating a folder on the desktop. Then I'm dragging multiple attachments from multiple emails into the folder. As you can see here, the attachments that I drug out of Outlook are now in the folder. It is now safe to delete the emails that contain the attachments. After you have removed all of your large unneeded emails, you should find out where the majority of the rest of your emails are within Outlook. In Outlook 2007, you can view the details of your mailbox by going to Tools, Mailbox Cleanup, and then by selecting Mailbox Size. You can see that the majority of my email resides in my deleted items. Chances are good that you'll find the majority of your email in your deleted items, sent items, and junk mail. Go ahead and go through these folders and remove any emails that you no longer need. To quickly remove all of the email in your deleted items, you can simply right-click on your deleted items from the Mail Navigation pane and select Empty Deleted Items. Keep in mind, all emails that you delete simply go to the Deleted Items folder. To avoid sending items to the Deleted Items folder, hold down the Shift key while pressing Delete. After you have cleaned your deleted items, sent items, and junk mail, chances are good that the majority of your email is now in your inbox. Cleaning your inbox can be tedious, but is sometimes needed. I recommend starting by deleting all unneeded items in your inbox, including any emails in subfolders. Obviously, nobody wants to go through every email in their inbox and decide whether or not to keep it. What may be practical is sorting your email by date and deleting everything before a certain point. Or maybe you no longer need an entire subfolder and you can remove the whole folder altogether. Each inbox is different, so do your best at this and let us know if you still need help. But before you go through every email and start deleting emails that you may need at some point, there is another option, archiving. Archiving involves exporting emails to a CD, backup hard drive, or even your local hard drive on your PC. It essentially allows you to store your emails somewhere other than the server. Archiving is great for old emails that are rarely used but can't be deleted. For more information, check out the Outlook archiving video. Before you finish, check out your mailbox size once more to make sure you're within quota or that you haven't missed any large folders. If everything looks good, then you should be all set. Otherwise, please contact the help desk if you need more help.